Hi everybody, good morning. It's great to be here. So do you have my slides on the on the laptop or how are we going to do it? Uh looks like um we can take the PDF here. I I send you also an open document version, but no, no. I don't know. Is it? No, it's not it's ours. No. no. That's very small letters here, unfortunately. No, that's not us. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, that looks very good. Thanks, Cloud and your invention. And is this for switching? Yeah, looks good. Okay, great, awesome. So, who of you knows, who of you has heard about Univention before? Half of you, so it's still a good idea to come here. <laughs> and who of those who know us uh, can tell us what we are actually doing exactly? So would you mind come to the stage and tell us? <laughs> okay, just kidding. So <laughs> let, me, let me give you a short introduction to Univention. Um, we are building open source software for organizations to make the access to the applications their members, their users, and also the services need to use as easy as possible. That um, basically involves two or three things. The first thing is an identity management system for users, their roles, their access rights. The second thing is an App Store-like environment. We call it the Univention App Center for easy testing, provisioning, deployment, lifecycle management of enterprise applications, be they in the cloud or if you are, are on-premises, on your servers. We also use container technology there a lot, <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> I think the whole industry agrees on this. Um, yes, and the third thing is um, basic infrastructure management, uh, uh, device management. Some people like to call us, uh, because of this, an alternative to the Microsoft Windows Server product line, because similar to the Microsoft uh, server systems, we offer Active Directory services. You can use our product in a similar way. You even can take over existing Microsoft Active Directory environments and replace them with our product. But others like to think of it as some kind of Android for servers, if you want, because it provides the runtime environment, the management tools, the tools to select the apps you need to run on your servers, and it integrates them, for example, by providing a central management system. Currently, we are a little bit swamped, I can say, by the growth of, of the usage of our platform today. There are more than... Uh, next slide, I wanted to... Oh. Have I shown you this slide long enough? I don't know. <laughs> but I, I told you everything was on there, so let's go to that one. Um, we are a little bit um, overwhelmed, swamped, if you like, by the, by the growth of the usage of our platform. Right now, today, there are more than 6,000 organizations worldwide using Univention Corporate Server every day, and it's growing a lot. These organizations cover a very wide range, similar to what Frank said with Nextcloud, starting with really tiny, small businesses with just three users or so, and ending with one of our largest customers who actually manages more than 30 million users in production with Univention Corporate Server. And that's a really wide range. That's Sometimes challenging for us, but it's also the same code uh, doing this for, for all these customers. Uh, we have a lot of uh, customers in the public sector and one uh, customer group which is especially important to us is the school system. In fact, many or, or let's say a couple of the larger German cities use Univention Corporate Server to provide 
their schools, their teachers, their students, sometimes even the parents of the students with access, with centrally managed access, I should say, to learning management systems, to Wi-Fi in schools, to file services, to mail and groupware services, to computers in classrooms, and more and more, of course, to organize the integration of mobile devices in, into the school system, which is also really challenging. So, what does all this have to do with um, Nextcloud? Of course, file sharing and syncing and all the other great stuff uh, Frank mentioned and they are doing, you are doing here at Nextcloud, which is really great, is not only important to the school system, but to the vast majority of our customers. And the same is true, of course, for many of the apps which are integrated into, into Nextcloud right now, like, uh, for example, Collabora, online editing of documents. So we are really happy that, um, that we are working with Nextcloud. I, I think I can say right from the beginning, uh, Nextcloud is now available in our app center since more than a year and it clearly belongs to the group of fast growing, very success successful apps there. If you want to uh, run, have a Nextcloud server, I, uh, I can say the easiest way to set it up will be to go to our web page, grab an ISO or a virtual machine image, uh, set it up. Uh, then head to the App Center, select Nextcloud, um, select Collabora or other stuff you would like to integrate, and um, then you are set. And the whole process will just take you, depending on your bandwidth and your compute, po compute power, maybe between 10 or 15 minutes, a few keystrokes, a few mouse clicks, and after 10 or 15 minutes, you end up with a server system ready for production, very easy to manage, very easy to maintain, very easy to update. Um, and this is really an enterprise-grade product. There are subscriptions and commercial support available for it, but you don't have to buy any of these if you don't, if you don't want. Think of what, think of all the steps this eliminates, no setup, setup of a database, no package dependencies, no um, fiddling around with SSL certificates, no tweaking of web server configurations, and no handling of all of this while you have to update the whole environment because the system all manages this for you. Sounds great, doesn't it? But we thought that's not great enough. Let's make it a little bit greater. So that's the reason why together with Nextcloud, we built a special optimized branded Nextcloud appliance, which Frank just mentioned. Um, it will be available hopefully next week um, for VMware, for VirtualBox and for KVM. And with this appliance, it will just be basically telling the system which language you want to use during setup and providing a password for the administrator user. Administrator user. These are the things we still can't guess and um, you, have to, you have to submit and that's it. After that, you are up and running and you get the same production grade environment which you got when you do all these steps manually. The only difference, it will come up in a nice, uh, this is the slide, it will come up in a nice branding with the very beautiful Nextcloud colors. And as Frank said, we are also announcing a special version of this appliance, the Nextcloud Education Edition appliance, which will contain many of the optimizations and extensions like, for example, the Moodle extension uh, in this appliance and will set all of this up for you during the setup process of the appliance. So 
schools, uh, school districts, uh, school authorities can start to work with this immediately. Yeah, what does it provide? You can join it into your active directory domain if you have one. So you can allow your users to use the credentials um, they use in the active directory di environment already to access Nextcloud and other apps installed on the Univention server. Comes with batteries included. Everything is in there. Yeah, I think that's basically it. So. That's all from me for now. Go to our website, search for Nextcloud to see when it's available or directly to this URL or give me your card or your email address after this talk and we will be happy to send you a pointer and a direct a personal notification as soon as this is available. That was, I guess, the last slide. Yes, it was. So that's it from me. Thank you very much and have a very nice day here in Berlin.